In the twenty-third year of the Beacon Fire, Han Lin entered an era of war and, with the help of historical memories, entered an invisible battlefield. One person has a thousand faces, and there are many spy shadows. Keywords of the Novel Spy Shadow Mystery Cloud No Pop-Ups, Spy Shadow Mystery Cloud TXT Complete Collection Download, Spy Shadow Mystery Cloud Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Opening Companion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Opening Companion in the Summer of the 23rd Year of the Republic of China I used to watch online videos and often heard about the unparalleled beauty of Hangzhou. But Han Lin, who rode his bicycle to the vicinity of Wansong Academy, had no intention of enjoying the beautiful scenery at this moment. At this time, West Lake, the famous ten scenic spots of West Lake. Thunder Peak Sunset, even collapsed the Te Mo Lei Peak Pagoda. It is said to have been in disrepair for a long time, and the local people stole bricks from the house, causing the tower base to loosen. On September 25th of the 13th year of the Republic of China, which is now 10 years ago, it collapsed with a loud bang. Of course, I didn't see any white lady at the bottom of the tower, maybe she was really saved by her son who was the top scorer. After sleeping for a while, he arrived at the Republic of China, which was before the outbreak of the anti-Japanese war. In his previous life, he served as a senior informant of the National Security Bureau and had a very strong psychological quality. If ordinary people were to encounter such situations, even without psychological breakdown, they would not be able to quickly adapt to their new identity. Fade is not bad for him, Han Lin. This is his new name. He comes from a family of merchants in Jiangsu and Zhejiang, and his hometown is from Qingzhou Prefecture in the north. My father is engaged in salt business in the Beijing Shanghai Hangzhou area, commonly known as a salt merchant. He has many connections from the south to Beijing Shanghai Hangzhou and north to Pingjin. My mother takes care of household chores at home, my older brother went abroad to study economics, and after returning from studying abroad, he worked for an American company in Shanghai. He basically settled in the French concession of Shanghai, and my younger sister is currently studying at National Central University. Han Lin was not interested in doing business and graduated from Jinling Police School. Due to his excellent grades at graduation, he was selected by the Second Investigation and Statistics Bureau of the Jinling Government Military Commission. The Military Statistics Bureau and the Central Statistics Bureau were originally part of the same department. In September of the 21st year of the Republic of China, President Chiang Kai-shek established the Military Commission Investigation and Statistics Bureau, with Chen Lifu as the director, abbreviated as the Investigation and Statistics Bureau, which was an open secret service department. The first one is the special agent headquarters of the former Party Affairs Investigation Department of the Central Party Department, with Director Su Enzen, belonging to the CC Department and the predecessor of the Central Bureau of Statistics. The second one is the Special Affairs Office of Lixing Society, headed by Dai Li, belonging to the Huangpu clique and the predecessor of the Military Statistics Bureau. The third area is Postal and Telecommunications Management, with Ding Mo Village as the director and the relationship with the CC Department. In the 23rd year of the Republic of China, there were still three years left until the full dot scale anti Japanese war, which gave him time to prepare in advance. As a time traveler, he had a clear understanding of the future war situation. In the Military Statistics Bureau, he was much stronger than in the Central Statistics Bureau. Although the Military Statistics Bureau was a violent opportunity under the dictatorship of President Chang, the executioner of the bloody slaughter of underground parties and anti-Japanese masses, at least during the anti-Japanese war, he was still on the front line. He was born in the 21st century and grew up under the red flag as a senior informant of the National Security Bureau. He came to the Republic of China period and used his identity as the Military Statistics Bureau and the resources of the Jinling government to engage in a desperate battle against the Japanese puppet regime. This is the responsibility and obligation of every Chinese person, but he needs to find opportunities to interact with underground parties and join the organization's big family. 
There must be many opportunities to do so in the opposition camp, but this matter cannot be too urgent. He is currently a secret agent of the Military Statistics Bureau, and the organization needs to have a process of testing and screening him. The Military Statistics Bureau and the Central Statistics Bureau always want to infiltrate the underground party and cause destruction. The courtyard near Wansong Academy is the location of the intelligence station, and the headquarters of the Hangzhou Police Station is located in Taipingfang Lane, not far from here. The Hangzhou Intelligence Station of the 2nd Division of the Investigation Statistics Bureau has a public identity of the Hangzhou Police Bureau's Judicial Investigation Police Team, also known as the Plainclothes Police Team. They only use this identity when carrying out tasks and do not make public appearances at the police station. As soon as he entered the gate, Han Lin heard the roar of the station master Lu Wenzhou. Arriving at the office in the East Wing, the whole group crowded around the door and window, watching and listening. Head, there's a lot of excitement watching. The intelligence department has obtained top-secret intelligence. A combat staff officer from the Hangzhou Garrison Command was bribed by the Japanese, but unexpectedly, after hearing this news, the operations department secretly went to the joint location to arrest someone. Not only did they kill the headquarters staff officer who refused to arrest, but they also ran away without catching the contact person, which is like a dead end. Security Commander Xian Tiawu is not easy to deal with. He grabbed the tail of Hangzhou Station and sued the committee seat in Jinling. Even the director was harshly reprimanded. The director personally called and scolded Lu, ordering our station to investigate the case as soon as possible and give Xian Tiawu an explanation, otherwise the punishment will be severe. Deputy Team Leader Chao Jiandong said in a low voice. Dai Li arranged for a newly recruited group of members to exercise at the Hangzhou station and assigned them to a team called the Beijing Shanghai Hangzhou Field Service Team, which means they will first go to the Hangzhou station, then to the Shanghai urban area, and then return to the headquarters in Jinling. Through this round of experience, they will be able to become familiar with espionage work. The current military statistics staffing is too small, and after Dai Li's continuous expansion, there are only less than 2,000 personnel. Provincial stations like Hangzhou Station have a total of over 200 personnel. Han Lin was selected as the team leader for this internship due to his outstanding academic performance in school, quick thinking, ability to speak English, and high level of close combat and shooting skills. There were 14 people under his command. His official title is Lieutenant Leader, and Chao Jiandong is the Deputy Leader of the Brigadier Captain. The team members are also Brigadier Commanders, the lowest level lieutenant, but at least they are all officers. The Action Department's bunch of bad guys really embarrassed the Second Department. They didn't lock in a contact person and dared to arrest them without evidence. Isn't this just making a fool of themselves? The Second Department does have such power, but the specific operation also needs to pay attention to methods and methods. This is Xian Tiewu, the sincere friend of the eldest young master, and the red light in the eyes of the committee. Han Lin immediately thought of this person. Xian Tiewu was first and foremost from Zhejiang province. His father and President Jiang were sworn brothers, and he had served as President Jiang's bodyguard and chief bodyguard. He was from Huangpu Phase 1 and had extensive experience. Currently, he is the Deputy Director of the Security Department in Zhejiang Province and the Commander of the Hangzhou Garrison Command. President Jiang regarded Xian Tiewu as his nephew, and his status was on par with that of Boss Dai, both receiving special favor. Moreover, Xian Tiewu and the eldest son were sworn brothers, which provoked such a person. Not to mention two subordinate organizations like Hangzhou Station, Boss Dai is probably under a lot of pressure at this moment. Captain Han, please go over, Station Master. The secretary came out of the main office and shouted at Han Lin at the door. The fire at the city gate will harm the fish in the pond. Han Lin pursed his lips and said. What does that mean? asked team member Zhou Bingqing. You don't have a brain. This is the webmaster asking our field team to accompany us. Han Lin said angrily. 
the position of the field team at the Hangzhou station is very awkward. They have not been assigned specific tasks and are said to be training, but they have never carried out tasks alone, and even have not been given the opportunity to participate in important tasks. I have been here for two months and often drink tea, read newspapers, and look at files in the office. I am known for my lack of experience, just like the action department catching people, and the field team is not qualified to participate. If something goes wrong, go to the field team. Han Lin can even think of what's going on with his nose. Dear new and old readers, the third installment of the Republic of China espionage campaign in Deep Blue has officially begun to be uploaded. Thank you for your continuous support and love. Welcome to vote, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Division of Labor and Non-Cooperation. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Division of Labor and Non-Cooperation Feng Mingwei and Jiang Haoshan, since the establishment of the Hangzhou Station, you have been like cockfighting chickens, insisting on pecking the other person's eyeballs blind. The competition between you is not a thing of the past. It is natural for you to perform meritorious deeds and receive rewards. I can understand, but the result of your recent attack has been shocking. Xian Tiewu is President Zhang's big shot, and even Boss Dai doesn't want to provoke him. It's good of you to do such an outrageous thing. Xian Tiawu grabbed the tail of Hangzhou Station and didn't let go. He directly complained to President Jiang. Boss Dai called and asked when I could provide him with evidence and tell me when you would dig up Japanese spies and evidence. Lu Wenzhou sat behind his desk, his face turning pale with anger at this incident. Those who can be webmasters are all veteran members of the Blue Clothes Society's secret service, but everyone has their own style, and their personality may seem irritable, but in reality, they have a strategic mind. Since the incident has already occurred, it is useless for him to jump three meters high. The most important thing now is how to get through the difficulties and give Mr. Dai an explanation. This bad result will make the headquarters very passive, and Xian Tiawu will not easily stop. The competition between the operations department and the intelligence department led to the complete failure of the intelligence department's plan, and behind this, there were internal conflicts between the operations department and the intelligence department, which continued from the internal conflict at the headquarters. The head of the intelligence department at the headquarters is He Ziyuan, while the head of the operations department is Mr. Dai. Su Yedao is in charge of the work, and there is often friction between the two factions. Although he is the webmaster, these two department heads have backgrounds and backstage at the headquarters, so he really can't slap them to death. It all depends on the face of He Ziyuan and Su Yedao. Action Chief Feng Mingwei and Intelligence Chief Jiang Haosheng stood on the side of their desks, facing the absolute authority of the webmaster, and they behaved very honestly. Feng Mingwei's face remained expressionless, while Jiang Haosheng's gaze seemed to devour him alive. But when the webmaster asked, they didn't know how to answer. The combat staff had already died, and whether the contact person was in Hangzhou or not was another matter. Even if they were still there, they couldn't hide it. It was even harder to find this person in the vast city of Hangzhou than to climb to the sky. The key is that the peak won't give them too much time. Report, come in. Han Lin walked into the office and stood at attention across from the desk. Captain Han, I believe you have heard about the mishap in the action department this time. Good news never goes out, bad news spreads far and wide. It is estimated that this matter will soon spread throughout the headquarters and various stations of the second division, and the Hangzhou station is notorious. The big mistake has been made, and now is not the time to pursue responsibility. Boss Dai called and ordered us to settle this matter within seven days. We must find evidence of this staff member's treason and give an explanation to the security command. Lu Wenzhou said. This is the most common opening statement for those who have reached the peak. First, clarify the situation, and there will inevitably be follow dot up. Please make it clear to the webmaster. Han Lin said. The field team is carefully selected by the headquarters, and in the future, 
the elite backbone of various departments at the headquarters, such as Captain Han, a leader of the police school, and the person who sent you from the personnel department, said, you are very good at reasoning and analysis. Originally, this task had nothing to do with the field team, but since you are still a part of the station now, you also have to take corresponding responsibilities. The Hangzhou station should unite sincerely and overcome difficulties together. I asked Mr. Dai for his advice. Although the field team has not been at the Hangzhou station for a long time, they are also involved in the investigation work this time, adding more people and strength. At the same time, it is also a good opportunity for training. Mr. Dai has agreed, said Lu Wanzhou. Sure enough. I have to admit, this reason is very powerful, so powerful that even Boss Dai cannot veto it. Hangzhou Station encountered an emergency, which is also a major event in the second place. Concentrate all efforts to solve the case and block Xian Tiawu's mouth, which is the top priority. Since the field team is interning at Hangzhou Station, they must obey the management of the station and cannot stay out of it. I will do my best in my humble position. Han Lin said. The matter has become a foregone conclusion, and Mr. Dai has agreed. At this point, we cannot delay it. Chief Jiang, could you talk about the causes and consequences of this matter, said Lu Wenzhou. The intelligence department told me from the inside of the security headquarters that the combat staff officer Song Ran has been experiencing a serious imbalance in expenses and income recently. He is pursuing the daughter of a tea merchant in Hangzhou, all of which are imported goods from the Shanghai concession. His family situation is average, and he absolutely cannot afford such luxury goods. Moreover, insiders have noticed that his whereabouts have been strange several times. He secretly went to a tea house to have a private meeting with a man wearing sunglasses, all on Tuesday evenings, and the location is also very stable. Insider tracking this sunglasses man, this person has a strong anti-reconnaissance awareness and means, and can basically be determined to be a colleague. He was worried about startling the enemy, so he did not follow him. The intelligence department judged that he could not have been in contact with the underground party. The underground party were all poor people who had eaten their last meal and never bought intelligence, nor could they have given him so much money. They could only be Japanese, and only this explanation can make sense. This combat staff officer is from the security command, and the matter is of great importance. I can only consult with the station master first to prepare to strengthen surveillance and set up long lines to catch big fish. Unfortunately, the operations department received this intelligence at the meeting. Yesterday evening, they suddenly took action to arrest someone. Seeing the situation exposed, Song Ran was panicked and opened fire to resist arrest, causing chaos. He was shot dead on the spot. The man in sunglasses jumped from the window to the backyard, climbed over the wall, and caused the current situation. Jiang Haosheng said. It has to be said that the intelligence department's approach of using long lines to catch big fish is very correct, fully demonstrating the professionalism of military intelligence agents. If the action department didn't intervene and there were many loopholes during the arrest, it should be able to make a big contribution this time. Hangzhou Station received praise from Boss Dai, and it was embarrassing for Xian Tiawu. I couldn't pick the peaches and fell off the tree, half dead. This time, the action department couldn't steal the chicken and erode the rice. I'm so cowardly. This time, you don't interfere with each other, and you are solely responsible for me. The intelligence section combs Song Rant's trajectory from the inside of the police headquarters, including his home and the location of the crime, and quickly carries out an investigation. The action section launches all eyeliner, eliminates all personnel, and searches for the track of the man wearing sunglasses. The police station and local gangs are all forces that can be used. The field team searches the streets to see if anyone has seen the man wearing sunglasses. Although the opportunity is slim, we should grasp every clue. Lu Wenzhou said. Han Lin returned to the office with the case file, and a group of subordinates gathered around him. Look, Hangzhou Station has already applied to Boss Dai, 
and the field team has also participated in solving the case, jointly assuming responsibility. It's mules and horses, let's take them out and slip away. Everyone should first understand the details of the case before proceeding with the next steps. We cannot make any breakthroughs, as this will affect our future in the second place. Perhaps Mr. Dai is also using this matter to test whether we can shoulder the heavy responsibility. He pointed to the file and said. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Searching for a Needle in the Sea. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Searching for a Needle in the Sea The field teams are all reserve talents selected by the 2nd Division, including those from the Army Officer School and the Zhejiang Provincial Police School. Those who joined the 2nd Division during this period definitely have some abilities. Everyone carefully reviewed the file, while Han Lin brewed a cup of tea and was mesmerized by the map of Hangzhou on the wall. This matter is both a risk and a challenge for him, and an important opportunity to gain Dai Li's appreciation. A provincial station like Hangzhou Station is not his goal. Giving charcoal in the snow is always better than adding icing on the cake. When encountering trouble in the second place, one can resolve it on their own. In Mr. Dai's mind, the weight is about to rise in an instant. Boss, the intelligence department did not find any evidence in this guy's residence. The man in sunglasses has no description of his appearance. He is 1.7 meters tall, thin, and wearing a blue robe. Trying to find him in the vast sea of people in Hangzhou is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Chao Jiandong frowned and said. I like challenges. As long as we do them, we have a 50% chance. Even if the result is not satisfactory, Boss Dai's criticism cannot hit us. He is not unaware of the inside story of this matter. How can the webmaster's small plan deceive his eyes? Han Lin smiled and said. He used to have this kind of job, which can be said to be more than 20 years of rich experience, coupled with department training and understanding of the history of the secret agent profession, to dig up this black sunglasses man, no problem. The leader is a top performer at Jinling Police School, best at logical reasoning. We all follow your command, and if there is anything we need to do, feel free to give orders, said team member Zhou Bingqing. From now on, the obvious characteristics of men with sunglasses should not be considered anymore. The contact person is dead, and he can no longer wear sunglasses to go out in the short term, nor can he wear a blue robe, which will increase the risk of exposure. The dossier does not record whether he was riding a foreign bike or driving. In Hangzhou, public transportation is inconvenient, and he is accustomed to taking yellow chartered cars. Of course, it is not ruled out that he may walk over. You go find the rickshaw puller near the crime site, expand the scope of gathering intelligence to the greatest extent possible, inquire about his situation, and those who can provide clues will be rewarded with 10 yuan, while those who provide important clues will be rewarded with 20 yuan. He doesn't ride the rickshaw, which means he lives near the tea house. Han Lin said. At this time, the Jinling government had not yet issued fiat currency, using the ocean, which is the silver dollar, or yuan datu, which is called the silver standard currency. As the financial center of Asia and the leader of industry and commerce in China, the Shanghai Stock Exchange earns around 20 yuan per month for workers and 50 yuan for teachers. The purchasing power and attractiveness of 10 yuan per month are amazing. For a rickshaw driver, this is a tempting reward. If he lives far away and deliberately walks to the tea house for his own safety, he cannot ignore the means of counter-reconnaissance, Peng Fuhai said. The spy's concealment of oneself is listed as the first element to improve survival rate and complete tasks. Meeting at the tea house may not necessarily be located near the tea house, but perhaps a few streets away. The situation you mentioned is not impossible, and your reaction is also very quick. I am still happy to think of this, but I think you are simply crazy. This is particularly summer, where the sun is so toxic that it can kill people. It's normal for him to wear a thin long shirt, but he can walk for an hour or two to meet at the tea house, not afraid to cover himself with maggots. 
When he arrives at the tea house, his whole body is soaked, like a drowned rat. The whole street has seen him, what else should he take? Han Lin said lightly. The boss is very thoughtful, and I sincerely admire him. Peng Fuhai was scolded by Han Lin and realized his mistake. His worries were unfounded. This is the gap between people, and the group members are convinced of Han Lin. No wonder Boss Dai chose him as the team leader, as his logical reasoning ability is too strong. The field team doesn't have their own expenses, and your military salary is just enough to eat. So, each person who goes out for field work should first take five dollars. Don't be reluctant to spend money, and if it's not enough, tell me to leave someone near the tea house. I'll go and wait for the rabbit to see if this person has the courage. Han Lin opened his drawer, took out two dollars, and gave each person five dollars. The team members had no objection to this either. Everyone knew that the team leader's family was a salt merchant and had plenty of money, which was nothing to him. So they quickly began to take action. Han Lin arrived at the scene of the arrest, diagonally opposite the tea house, on the second floor of a restaurant. He could easily see the situation near the tea house from the window. The intelligence department and police station are cleaning up the scene and questioning the owner and staff of the tea house. And he is waiting for the arrival of the sunglasses man. The meeting place he chose, once the matter is exposed, will inevitably be questioned by the military and police. The owner and staff of the tea house will definitely have an impression of him, and there may be some characteristics that people will remember, including voice, accent, behavior, and even face or hands. For a man with a dark mirror, the most dangerous place is the safest place. This is a professional intuition and also a reflection of one's own experience. The place where Han Lin is located is most suitable as an observation point. Across from the tea house is a commercial shop, which makes no sense to stay for too long. However, this restaurant can meet the observation requirements and is located high and not easily detected. The second floor is more concealed than the first floor. A yellow charter car was parked downstairs, and a man wearing a white long shirt got off the car. He was about 1.7 meters tall and scanned the surroundings before entering the building. Han Lin smiled slightly, his judgment was very accurate. This guy is indeed bold and meticulous. This person found a table by the window on the second floor, ordered two small dishes, and didn't pay attention to Han Lin, who was wearing golden sunglasses and looked like a wealthy man. Looking at the movement of the tea house, a disdainful smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. After more than twenty minutes, Han Lin went downstairs and found Peng Fuhai who was active nearby. Soon, a large network of tracking and monitoring was formed. One hour after leaving the restaurant, the target took a yellow chartered car. Peng Fuhai followed two intersections in the yellow chartered car, and at the second relay point, Chao Jiandong rode his bike and followed three intersections. He then replaced another team member, Su Yingzheng, and continued riding his bike, leaving the yellow chartered car far behind. At the fourth relay point, he switched to a yellow chartered car and arrived near the city station train station. After getting off the bike, he entered a small alley and locked in his residence. In the first year of the Xientong reign in 1909, the construction of a railway station within the city of Hangzhou began. The following year, Kintaman Station was relocated to the city and renamed Hangzhou Station. As a station within the city, people used to refer to Hangzhou Station as City Station Railway Station. The new book has just sprouted, welcome new and old friends to vote and recommend it. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Fishing for Big Fish with Long Lines You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Fishing for Big Fish with Long Lines In the inn at the entrance of the alley, Han Lin self-funded and opened four rooms. He is a single room and this is also the place for duty. The brothers under surveillance come here to rest after changing shifts. I was sweating profusely from the heat, but I didn't expect the main driver to be caught by the boss at the restaurant across from me. 
you were so well prepared. We asked dozens of yellow carriage drivers and coincidentally found the yellow carriage driver on the day of the incident, saying he got on the train from near the train station. Chao Jiandong extended his thumb and said. Don't think that you have done useless work. If my strategy of waiting for the rabbit is not effective, it's just an intuition. Adding a quick way to cut in is crucial to completing such a task. The only way to go is to investigate clues, which is the right path. Getting on the train from near the train station is crucial, indicating that he lives nearby. The train station has convenient transportation and dense pedestrian flow, with many people coming and going from south to north, making it a good hiding place, Han Lin said smoking. Indeed, he was not very confident in reaching his target, and the reason for doing so was because he had seen information about Japanese spies during the Republican era. They looked down on Chinese agents who started relatively late in intelligence, and their bones are filled with contempt and disdain. Coupled with their arrogant personality, they often do things boldly. But their strengths are strong professionalism, high vigilance, and meticulous behavior. Since we have found this guy, what should we do next? Catch someone. Boss Dai is under a lot of pressure. If we can handle this matter in a short time, he will definitely give us a reward, and brothers can also benefit from it. Zhou Bingqing asked. We took turns on duty and stared at him intently, unable to leave our sight for 24 hours. I inferred that if something like this happened, this guy would definitely have to contact his superiors, probably just these past few days. Only focusing on our own goals, this credit is enough for our field team, but not enough for the Hangzhou station. The entire station is full of guilt from top to bottom, waiting for this credit to turn over. Han Lin said. The insider bought by the security command has been compromised, which is a major matter. Next, there will inevitably be the development of new insiders, or there may be other insiders. He is certain that the other party's online presence will definitely come to Hangzhou and connect with the target in a short period of time. This is the credit of our field team, why should we share it with them? They have diarrhea on their own, and we are wiping their buttocks and swallowing our credit. We are not afraid to push them to death. Is there still boss die in their eyes? Chao Jiandong almost jumped up. This kind of opportunity is not easy to encounter. As long as we solve the two difficult problems, we will definitely gain the appreciation of boss die, promotion, and bonuses, both of which are considerable. How can we give up the credit? Hangzhou Station is a provincial station, but the field team is from the headquarters and there are also several related parties who can expose this matter to Mr. Dai. We are wiping our butts for Hangzhou Station, but the case belongs to someone else's Hangzhou Station. We are also hanging on to Hangzhou Station now, eating alone. We also have to be stretched to death, we don't have such a big appetite. Don't do such a thing, mixing intelligence departments is not like you. Offending people is not a good thing after all. A group of lieutenants offended experienced school officials, and they also had connections with the headquarters behind them. How should we deal with them in the future? The field team will have Lu Wenzhou write comments. Do you also want to get a bad review for your internship file? What kind of person is Boss Dai and what is the insider situation? He knows for sure that if Lu Wenzhou wants to erase our achievements, he will be dead set. People who have an unattractive appearance usually don't have a good ending. With just this ability, he can't become a webmaster, Han Lin said with a smile. Even if Lu Wenzhou wants to swallow this credit again, he doesn't have the courage to treat Boss Dai like a fool. He hasn't lived enough yet. Dai Li controls two aspects. One is his extreme aversion to lying, and the other is his extreme aversion to corruption. He has never been lenient in such situations. So, the final handling must have been carried out by the field team under the command of the stationmaster Lu Wenzhou, with the assistance of the intelligence and operations departments, to jointly solve the case, which was a happy situation for everyone. Of course, it's hard to say if the action department can contribute to this matter. For two consecutive days, the field team has been squatting, 
but they have not noticed anyone coming from the target's home. He only eats at a small stall and doesn't come out at home. The current situation is tight, and such actions are normal. Two Hangzhou stations. It's been three days since Boss Dai called, and you haven't made any progress. The security headquarters called me, and the deputy of Xian Tiawu called, questioning when we can solve the case. You can tell yourself how to deal with this matter. Lu Wenzhou asked coldly. Webmaster, we know very little about Japanese espionage. In a hurry, it's really difficult to search for such a large city in Hangzhou, Jiang Haosheng said helplessly. The action department has mobilized all ears and eyes, and people are investigating 24 hours a day, but there is currently no result. Feng Mingwei said. I have received a message that the inspection team from the headquarters is already on their way here. It's not that I, as the webmaster, shirk responsibility and don't want to help you. As long as the case is not solved, it's difficult for anyone to speak, said Lu Wenzhou. No one mentioned the field team, these newcomers were brought in to share the responsibility, and they had never handled any cases alone, so they couldn't be counted on. Thinking about the headquarters inspection team coming to Hangzhou to hold accountable, this is with the sword of the Shang side, and Feng Mingwei is the most worried in his heart. This incident was caused by him, and he is also the most direct first person responsible. If he can't solve the case, no matter how hard his relationship is, he can't withstand the pressure brought by Xian Tiawu. If it really has this relationship, he won't be the department head of the provincial station. Perhaps this is the end of his career. Boss Dai is not afraid of Xian Tiewu, but his own tail has been caught, and the people below are not in good spirits. They can only dismiss the parties involved and quell the incident. Perhaps they will have to spend two more years in prison. Han Lin, as the leader of the field team, you have encountered a problem in the station. Why don't you look for clues outside? Why do you go back to the office? I don't know what you're busy with all day. Feng Mingwei said angrily when he came out and saw Han Lin coming back. What are we busy with? Are we busy wiping our butts for the action department? Looking for clues. The people from the action department are running all over the street, finding clues. Then I have to congratulate Director Feng. Han Lin couldn't bear such a bad habit. The section chief is a high dot level official at Hangzhou Station, usually holding the rank of colonel, or more accurately, the rank of colonel section chief, which belongs to the rank of official. At this time, there were no generals in the two places, and Mr. Dai was appointed as a lieutenant colonel in the Chuanshu Army. It was not until the establishment of the Comprehensive Anti Japanese War Military Statistics Bureau that the position of Major General and Deputy Director was temporarily suspended. Before the victory of the Anti Japanese War, he was promoted to the rank of Major General in the Chuanshu Army. You. Feng Mingwei said a word, but didn't say anything more. His face turned pale and he walked away. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. First Action You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 First Action Feng Mingwei, as the captain of the operations department, was mocked by a second lieutenant leader, but he had no other choice but to be out of sight and out of mind. Because the field team is sent by the headquarters to intern and train, the only person in charge of the field team is the station master. As the head of the action department, he is not qualified to direct others. Han Lin is still young and easily impulsive. If we argue in the station, it's definitely not Han Lin who makes a fool of himself. If the action department doesn't hold its tail, when the inspection team arrives and inquires about the field team, it is estimated that this guy will definitely fall into the trap. Intelligence Chief Jiang Haosheng stood at the door, watching and listening, and gave Han Lin a thumbs up. Feng Mingwei was so beautiful that he insulted himself and wanted to find someone to vent his anger. He was looking for the wrong partner. A major is several levels older than a lieutenant officer, but they are not under your jurisdiction. Aren't you looking for a draw for nothing? Han Lin, have you found anything these days? 
Jiang Haosheng asked with a smile as Feng Mingwei left. It was Feng Mingwei and the operations department who caused trouble, while the intelligence department was the victim. If Boss Dai's board was hit, it would never hit his head. Report to Chief Jiang, I have gained a bit. I came back this time to report to the webmaster. Han Lin said. Oh. I can get clues in such a short time, it's impressive. Tell me about the situation, and I'll also learn from it, Jiang Haosheng asked. I dare not be praised so highly by Chief Jiang. After receiving the task, I thought that searching without a target was a complete stroke of luck, which was not conducive to the current situation. My brothers and I first investigated the yellow carriage drivers near the tea house. Coincidentally, a yellow carriage driver remembered that on the day of the incident, a person wearing sunglasses and a long blue cloth shirt took his car to the tea house. Our team is currently conducting an investigation at the place where he got on the car. The feasible action of the science movement clearly startled the snake. For two consecutive days, we never saw any suspicious targets wearing sunglasses again. The other party must have changed their attire, and we have too little information. It's like a blind person riding a blind horse, and we haven't received any clear clues. Han Lin said. It is inappropriate not to disclose any information to the station, as it may be suspected of ignoring the peak and not speaking too strongly. This is a technique. It's done very well. The place where he took the car is definitely not too far from his hiding place. In such a high temperature, he wouldn't run a few miles to take the car somewhere. It's beyond my expectations to have such progress. Lu Wenzhou said as he walked out of the office. The performance between the field team and the two departments is really a matter of high judgment. The headquarters said that Han Lin is good at reasoning, which is not an exaggeration. At least he found the right direction and found the target's movement trajectory. The intelligence and action departments are still like headless flies flying around aimlessly. Do you want our intelligence department to join? Jiang Haosheng asked. There are too many people participating in the search, so the search activity will inevitably reveal their whereabouts, and the target will be more difficult to catch. Don't underestimate the vigilance of the Japanese spy. Besides, the number of more than a dozen people in the field team is already quite large. Han Lin, you use dim sum. If you can solve this problem, I will ask Boss Dai for your credit. Lu Wenzhou said. Fortunately, we were able to catch this Japanese spy. It was all thanks to the wise leadership of the webmaster and the concerted efforts of the Hangzhou station. I and the field team dare not take it lightly, said Han Lin. Okay, that's great. You go ahead and get busy. I wish you a successful start. Lu Wenzhou said with a smile, his face particularly gentle. This kind of mentality completely exceeded his expectations. Regardless of Han Lin's abilities, his way of dealing with people is fundamentally a seasoned and mature senior agent. How could he be like a young man who is only 26 years old and just starting out? Not taking credit, not being arrogant, and knowing how to push oneself as the webmaster to the forefront, to share the pressure on Hangzhou Station, there is no intention of eating alone. Whether things can be achieved or not is one thing, but such wisdom is quite remarkable. He really needs to be impressed. Webmaster, I have to say that young people nowadays are amazing. They have just graduated and started working, and they have such a mature and experienced style. In time, this kid will definitely become a big shot, Jiang Hao said with a smile. His family is a big salt merchant, and it is inevitable that he can speak. The influence of the environment is very important. He has strong abilities, and in such a chaotic situation, if he manages to open up a channel, I would rather he stays at Hangzhou Station. However, these people are all treasures of the headquarters, and Hangzhou Station is not his long-term residence, said Lu Wenzhou. At noon on the fourth day, Han Lin was drinking fish soup in a restaurant when Chao Jiandong stood at the door and made a gesture that he understood. The launch of the target has arrived in Hangzhou. He calmly got up to settle the bill and walked outside the door. 
Boss, the target has entered the train station. Chao Jiandong said. Let's go set up an ambush at his house. Han Lin said. In a separate small courtyard, Han Lin and a few team members did not enter through the main entrance, but climbed over the wall to enter the courtyard. This skill is not called skill, but the most basic ability. The door is locked, but the window is only slightly concealed. The summer temperature is high, and closing the doors and windows can suffocate people. There are many flowers and plants planted under the window, which is a preventive measure. Support the windowsill and take a ladder. I will take people inside for action, and four people will be enough. The rest will go into the kitchen to take shelter. Once people enter the house, they will be knocked unconscious immediately. Don't hesitate, check your collar and teeth for any poison. Han Lin whispered. These Japanese spies brainwashed by northern militarism, suicide is the most basic operation, and the most commonly used is to hide medicine in their collars. Saliva comes into contact with the poison and dies in just a few minutes without any time for treatment. Two team members bent their bodies and supported the windowsill with their hands. Han Lin and three team members stepped on their backs, opened the window, and jumped into the room. The team members then covered the window sash. More than twenty minutes later, the gate of the courtyard was opened, and Han Lin saw through the old dot-fashioned wooden door, which was a thick wooden door without glass, that the target of surveillance was a person of similar age, carrying a suitcase, walking into the courtyard. They paused slightly at the door, seemingly checking something, and then the door was opened, blocking the four people behind it. The two of them had just entered the house when suddenly they were hit hard on the neck and fell unconscious on the spot, with no possibility of resistance. All members of the field team have received professional training before coming to Hangzhou Station, and their techniques will not kill anyone. This kind of strength is crucial. The team members were not very proficient in performing such a task for the first time. They hurriedly handcuffed the two of them first, then tore off the collar of their clothes. As expected, they discovered poison and opened their mouths to look at their teeth, but there was no abnormality. Evacuate everyone outside, close the courtyard door, and search carefully inside the room to see if you can find the radio station and password book. However, making a phone call in Hangzhou is very convenient. If the contact person comes from Shanghai or other places, there is no radio station configuration, and using code language can still achieve the goal. Han Lin said. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Under the First Action. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Under the First Action Although telephones were laid out far away during the Republic of China period, they were far from reaching the level of nationwide communication. There were also significant limitations on communication throughout the province, and due to technological reasons, there were still great difficulties in achieving long-distance communication. The farther the distance, the more blurry the communication became. However, there was no problem with communication between Beijing, Shanghai, and Hangzhou, as long as you could afford the high telephone bills. Moreover, the development of telephones during the Republic of China period was not as backward as people thought. As early as the 21st year of the Republic of China, Hangzhou used automatic transfer telephones, such as the Belgian-made Rotary Automatic Telephone Exchange, which had a capacity of 3,000 telephones. However, within the scope of Zhejiang province and surrounding areas, there were not many 3,000 telephones, and there were also very few people who could afford to install telephones. A group of team members were rummaging through boxes and cabinets, even prying up the floor tiles in the room, almost digging three feet into the ground. When his subordinates were searching, Han Lin picked up the suitcase brought by the contact person, which was heavy. Upon opening it, apart from a few clothes, it was just a newspaper from the Shanghai Stock Exchange, possibly to pass the time by car. But underneath his clothes, he was pleasantly surprised, with gold bars of different sizes placed, commonly known as Big Yellow Croker and Small Yellow Croker in TV dramas. The so-dot called Big Yellow Croker is a gold bar weighing ten tails, 
while during the Republic of China period, one kilogram was equal to 16 tails, so it is approximately 312.5 grams. The small yellow croaker is 31.2 grams, and one or two pieces of gold can be exchanged for 40 silver dollars. However, during this period, gold bars were all forged privately. He kept it quietly at hand. Boss, we found it. Chao Jiandong shouted. In the wall hole behind the wardrobe, he reached out and pulled out an unlocked wooden box. Inside, of course, it was not a radio station, but thick text materials, as well as a few gold bars and a few ocean letters. Han Lin brought it over and took a look. There were military documents from the security command, as well as handwritten Japanese materials, hydrological data about Hangzhou Bay, and the situation of troops stationed there. This time, seeing how Xian Tiawu is chattering and refusing to give up, his security headquarters is like a sieve, and all confidential documents have fallen into the hands of Japanese spies. He immediately called the station master and asked the intelligence department to come and assist in escorting them. Han Lin said. Boss, I think there may be clues we need in these information files. We still need to stay in Hangzhou for a while. In order to make things flow smoothly, I suggest you take these things back to our temporary stronghold, carefully inspect them, and selectively hand them over to the station. Our task is to apprehend the launch of the Japanese spy case by the security command, which is now considered to be over-completed. We must consider it for the future. Anyway, there is enough time. We can call half an hour later, and the evidence will fall into the hands of the intelligence department. We may not even be able to drink soup, Chao Jiandong suggested. He is a clever and calculating person. This case is from the intelligence department of Hangzhou Station, and the field team only assists in handling it. If the intelligence department shamelessly takes away all the subsequent clues, the field team has no way. After all, the field team has only been in Hangzhou for two months and cannot return to the headquarters in a short period of time. Since they are still working in Hangzhou, they must have some resources in their hands. Do you have any clues about these spy items? The field team will check them first before discussing. What if there are any clues? The term, small water flows for a long time is very appropriate. You have carefully considered it and we do need to take a long dot term view. You can continue to search here with your brothers, and I will take the information file back to the base. Half an hour is enough, Han Lin nodded and said. Do you know how to keep a backup? Chao Jiandong has some ideas about this guy. The distance was not far, so he returned to his room and carefully examined the documents. There were indeed no clues about the Japanese spy organization, so it didn't matter if he handed them over to the intelligence department. As for these gold bars, he plans to keep the money as his own. Although he is not short of money, his family regularly sends people to give him money in order to ensure his smooth career. However, he is not the same as Han Lin before. He does not want to always ask for money from his family, and his family's money is not enough to cope with his travel business. The Location of Hangzhou Station Jin Shengen, the deputy head of the second inspection unit, and the representative sent by Dai Li, looked sharply at Lu Wanzhou and the two department heads, feeling extremely irritable. The purpose of the inspection team is first to supervise and investigate the case, and then to hold accountable. After such a long investigation, there is no clue to solve the case. How can Mr. Dai be satisfied with such a situation? I don't want to hear about these nonsense incidents at your Hangzhou station. In the future, the headquarters has been under tremendous pressure from the Hangzhou Garrison Command, and the lawsuits have all been brought to the committee. Are you reporting this result to Mr. Dai now? Jin Shingen asked. Leader Jin, the field team has discovered the approximate location of the target's hiding place and is currently conducting an intense investigation, Lu Wanzhou said with a stiff face, but was interrupted. What Boss Dai wants is not the process, but the result. It is indeed a good thing that the field team can make some discoveries, 
but you have been operating in Hangzhou for several years, and even a field team sent by the headquarters to intern for only two or three months can make breakthroughs. However, you have made no progress in the case yourself. Such a comparison is unacceptable, right? Jin Xing asked Anji. Lu Wenzhou has no words left, and the facts are in front of him. What defense can he make? Feng Mingwei and Jiang Haosheng also stood on the side silently. Boss Dai wanted the result, but they didn't even have the process. How could they respond? The phone is ringing. I'm Lu Wenzhou, who is that? Lu Wenzhou picked up the microphone and asked. Report to the station master, I am Han Lin. I have arrested the contact person of Song Ran in the spy case, and have also arrested the launch of this Japanese spy. I have also found military secrets from the security headquarters. Please dispatch the intelligence department to the south of the train station to escort the prisoners to Jingangxi Lane. Han Lin said. Okay, okay, I'll send someone over right away. Lu Wenzhou was overjoyed. If he doesn't make a name for himself, he will be amazed. At this moment, Han Lin is like a savior and a living bodhisattva who always responds to his requests. He has completely solved this matter and finally saved some face for Hangzhou Station. Does Mr. Lu seem to have good news? Jin Shingen asked. Leader Jin, Han Lin's field team did not disappoint Boss Dai's expectations, nor did they disappoint my trust. They caught the Japanese spy in this case, and even arrested the contact person of the Japanese spy. At the same time, they searched for confidential documents from the security headquarters. Now, Xian Tiawu has nothing to say. Lu Wenzhou said excitedly. I'll give Boss Dai a call and report this good news. Let's go together. Jin Shingen smiled and said, feeling great. No one wants to get into trouble. Being able to solve the problem smoothly is already the best outcome. Just now, he was worried about the half-dead situation. As for Xian Tiewu, he is a great figure in the eyes of the committee. Although he will be severely reprimanded this time, his position will not be shaken. Just like making such a fool of himself, Xian Tiewu couldn't shake Boss Dai's position in the hearts of the committee. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Case follow-up. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Case Follow-up Humble Han Lin, hello to the boss, I have met the inspector. When the vehicles from Hangzhou Station arrived at the hiding place of the Japanese spy, Han Lin had already returned. When he was training at the headquarters, he had met Jin Xingen several times to learn the discipline of the second bureau, and when he arrived, he also received his routine training. Boss Dai, everything is fine. Congratulations to you, Han Lin. You and your colleagues in the field team did not embarrass the headquarters and successfully solve this spy case. We will share the worries and difficulties with the boss. This time, we will definitely remember a great achievement for you. Jin Xingen said with a smile. The boy can speak, and the name of Inspector General sounds more comfortable than Leader Jin. First of all, I would like to ask Boss Dai how he is doing. He has done a perfect job in terms of etiquette and has a promising future. I dare not take it for granted, and my subordinates dare not take credit for it. It was under the leadership and command of Director Liu, and with the strong assistance of colleagues from Hangzhou Station, that there was a breakthrough, Han Lin said hastily. Bring me the secret documents found during the search and I'll take a look. Jin Shingen said. You're lying with your eyes open. Under the leadership and command of Director Huan Lu, and with the strong assistance of colleagues from Huan Hangzhou Station, do you think I'm blind? Look at this arrest scene, it's all from your field team. Where is there a station in Hangzhou? It is estimated that this group of people at Hangzhou Station were also blind cats who collided with dead mice. Before the field team succeeded, they did not believe that the field team could solve the case. But if he doesn't speak out, he also understands Han Lin's last resort. If he doesn't say that, even if he has no leadership, he will offend the entire Hangzhou station. 
It is a taboo behavior and immature behavior, and he himself doesn't like such people. The intelligence stolen by the Japanese this time is about the military deployment and defense works around Hangzhou Bay by the Security Command. With these conclusive evidence and two captured Japanese spies, we can explain it to Boss Dai, and Boss Dai can also explain it to President Jiang. Jin Shingen said with satisfaction. Returning to the base of Hangzhou Station, the two gradually awakened Japanese spies were imprisoned in the backyard. Apart from being embarrassed and angry about their own experiences, they didn't say a word, let alone the matter of funding. But the atmosphere of the entire Hangzhou station immediately relaxed as the case was resolved. Because Boss Dai was very happy to receive the news and praised Hangzhou station for its unexpected gains. Webmaster, I earnestly request that you give me another chance to hand over the prisoner to the action department for interrogation. If there is no further behavior, the action department and I will be very upset this time, Feng Mingwei said to Lu Wenzhou. He knew he needed to save himself, and when the inspection team found a scapegoat, it would really be over. Currently, only the webmaster can help him. Lu Wenzhou looked at Feng Mingwei's pleading expression and thought about his future relationship. Anyway, he didn't want to provoke trouble and didn't want to offend anyone. Anyway, the final decision was made by the inspection team. The launch of this Japanese spy, in my experience, is the most valuable prisoner. Through him, perhaps there will be greater discoveries. If you can break through as soon as possible, there is not a chance of self-rescue. But I want to remind you that these Japanese people are difficult to deal with, so be mentally prepared and think carefully before interrogation. He nodded and said. Sia Webmaster is tolerant, and I am deeply grateful. After the inspection team leaves, I will naturally have a heart. Feng Mingwei said. Lu Wenzhou remained silent. There is still a question about whether you can pass the level. Since the incident has been basically handled and enters the next stage, the inspection team will start to hold you accountable. He also has to invite Jin Shingen from the inspection team to dinner tonight. There has been such a big mistake in the station, and whether the position of station master can be preserved depends on how Jin Shingen reports to Boss Dai after returning. Although the level of the webmaster is no different from that of the head of the headquarters, and even has more real power, he belongs to the headquarters, and now it is not the later eight major departments of military statistics. The position of the head of the department is equivalent to that of a director, which can influence Mr. Dai's views. If both prisoners are given to the operations department, then the intelligence department will not agree, and it is also easy for others to misunderstand that they are biased towards the operations department. It is a taboo for leaders to end up with a bowl of water. One by one, without considering the field team. At a century-old restaurant by the West Lake, represented by the station master, the head of the inspection team was invited to a banquet at Hangzhou Station, where a sumptuous table of local famous dishes was served. Han Lin, a small field team leader, was also called out to have dinner together as an exception, and neither of the department heads participated because Lu Wenzhou also knew how the case was solved, and he could not hide it from the experienced Jin Shengen. His behavior was also his own attitude. He only hopes to pass the level smoothly and has no intention of taking credit for the field team. Brother Wenzhou, to be honest with you, I was also uneasy when Boss Dai sent me to Hangzhou this time. After all, the nature of this matter is too bad. Without evidence and witnesses, Xian Tiawu will seize these two points and not let them go. If it weren't for our two departments also relying on President Jiang, and Boss Dai is also a trusted confidant of President Jiang, this time the Hangzhou station will definitely be severely punished, and we would have to give Xian Tiewu an explanation. Fortunately, you have dug up evidence and caught witnesses this time. It should be Xian Tiewu who feels uncomfortable. Of course, this matter has not had a significant impact on him. It is a blessing in disguise that the security command was infiltrated by Japanese spies, and a large amount of confidential information has been leaked. 
This indicates that our military's internal environment is not clean and there are great hidden dangers, which will prompt President Jiang to give greater power to the second division. Boss Dai instructed that although the rain has passed and the weather is clear, Hangzhou Station should not be taken lightly. My heart will not die for the loss of Japanese people, and I will continue to infiltrate and collect intelligence. This is evidence. It is difficult to say when war will break out. The Beijing Shanghai Hangzhou region is a crucial financial and tax hub for the government, supporting its operation. Its position is particularly important. Since two Japanese spies have been caught, we must open up a breakthrough and dig deeper. Jin Shingen said. After receiving the news, Boss Dai was very happy. He had been tormented by Xian Tiewu these days and felt uncomfortable all over. Seizing the opportunity now, he naturally wanted to step on Xian Tiewu without hesitation. Due to carelessness, lack of prevention, lax management, and ineffective military governance, a series of hats will immediately fall on Xian Tiewu's head. Originally, this could be a big or small matter. It's true that there were mistakes at the two Hangzhou stations, but Xian Tiewu didn't show any mercy in his actions and directly reported to President Jiang. Now that the tail of the security headquarters has been caught by the two stations, if they don't retrieve this place, then it's not Dai Li. I will strictly follow Boss Dai's orders and never slack off. I have ordered the intelligence and operations departments to interrogate the spy for two days, in order to find a breakthrough as soon as possible. Considering that the field team has no experience in interrogation, we have not assigned any tasks for now. Let's learn from them. Lu Wenzhou hurriedly said. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. He's in a hurry. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8. He's in a hurry not allowing the field team to participate in the interrogation is not entirely out of personal gain. Interrogation is a profound discipline, with attacking the heart being the best strategy and using punishment being the worst. The intricacies involved are quite complex. The field team came to Hangzhou Station to study, just look at the arrangements. The practical training results at Hangzhou Station have satisfied Mr. Dai very much. It's hard to say how long they can stay in Hangzhou, and they still have the task of continuing their internship at the next station in Shanghai. Two things, to strictly prevent underground parties from hiding and causing damage in various universities in Hangzhou, and secondly, to strictly guard against underground party activities in Hangzhou. These two tasks must be constantly and unremittingly pursued. Jin Shingen said. This is originally the function of the second division, not a secret. He did not avoid Han Lin's presence, and besides, Han Lin is also his own person from the headquarters. Shengen, I think these two tasks can be taken care of by the field team. Their performance is very outstanding and will bring new surprises to the second division in Hangzhou Station, said Lu Wenzhou. No, as I just said, this is a long dot term task, not specific to any particular case. The field team may be withdrawn at any time, so don't consider their main concerns. Of course, temporary assistance is possible. In addition, Feng Mingwei, the head of the action department, bears direct responsibility in the case of the security command. He and the relevant personnel cannot be easily let go. Privately speaking, the phenomenon of fighting for credit can be seen everywhere, which is barely understandable, but the key is the result. You need to show an attitude as soon as possible, and I need to report to Boss Dai at any time. Jin Shingen said. A single slap won't make a sound. There are problems with both the intelligence and operations departments. The incident of a dog biting a dog with its fur is not a recent occurrence. The intelligence department cannot be said to be irresponsible. But the fact is, the operations department snatched the task from someone else's intelligence department, but messed up the operation. Those who don't work hard, those who don't work lazily, and those who only work hard but don't have long eyes, who made you unlucky. Jin Shengen and Lu Wenzhou didn't talk to Han Lin, and they talked lively. However, 
When they saw that Han Lin didn't have any stage fright or embarrassment, their faces were calm with a hint of respect, and they took the initiative to bring tea and water for them. This behavior was beyond their expectations. Intentionally ignoring Han Lin is also honing his character, and it is also a way to show authority at the top. The conversation between the two is a high-dot-level dialogue, without Han Lin's voice. However, his expression and behavior show good upbringing and a calm mentality. This psychological quality is not something that ordinary newcomers can possess. You and the field team have performed excellently this time. Although we cannot say that you can turn the tide, it is also for Mr. Dai, to share the worries and solve the difficulties of the second division and the Hangzhou station. Mr. Liu has paid for you, and I will call back to Mr. Dai tomorrow to focus on our experience. We need young people like you in the second division, and there will be a future. Walking outside the restaurant, Jin Shengen patted Han Lin's shoulder and said with a smile. Han Lin recognized the underlying meaning of Jin Shengen and estimated that this time he solved the problem and caught two Japanese spies. It was not a big problem to promote himself to a higher level during his performance. According to Boss Dai's personality, it may also be possible to be promoted to two levels. Dai Li had a lot of flexibility when promoting his subordinates, especially during the period of the Secret Service. This is the result of the field team, the trust of Mr. Dai and the headquarters, the strong support of the webmaster, and the humble duty of not daring to take credit. Thank you to the inspector and webmaster for their cultivation. The inspector general has come to Hangzhou once in a while. I humbly invite you to meet with all members of our field team tomorrow and say a few words to everyone. I hope the inspector general can approve, said Han Lin. He spoke these klitsch a d words very naturally. No matter when, he couldn't curl his tail. When encountering merit, he should lift the peak first. It's never wrong, and no one doesn't like to hear it. As long as he can benefit from it, what's the point of spending some time talking? This is my job within my scope. You can arrange a place and pick me up at the hotel. For young people like you who come down to exercise, Boss Dai has great hope. You are very thoughtful, and I should also talk to you. When you graduated from Jinling Police School, your achievements were excellent and you were good at reasoning. I am also interested in how you solve cases, Jin Shengen said with a smile on his face. Lu Wenzhou nodded on the side, not to be ashamed that his family is engaged in business and knows how to be a good person. The field team was sent by the headquarters, and important personnel from the headquarters came to supervise the case. He and the field team invited him, and even if Jin Shengen refused, he had to agree. Moreover, there is no simple way to mix up with spy agencies. The field team is a reserve talent at the headquarters. In the future, when they return to the headquarters, they may be assigned to work in various directly affiliated departments, which will definitely have a good future. Forming this good relationship will also benefit Jin Shengen in the second place. The interrogation room in the backyard of the Hangzhou station of the Secret Service Office. This is a specially excavated underground interrogation room and prison, which also prevents sound from spreading outside and exposes the secret location of Hangzhou Station. Externally, this is a warehouse. The Japanese spy, who was chained to an iron frame, was no longer human in shape in just a few hours. His whole body was covered in blood and flesh, and both hands were useless due to being stuck in his nails with bamboo sticks. The two interrogators who were executing the sentence swung thorny whips and whipped him, tearing off a piece of flesh and leather from his belt and dripping blood on the ground, forming a dazzling puddle. Feng Mingwei sat behind the table anxiously, smoking non-dot-stop. The ashtray on the table was filled with cigarette butts, some of which were only three or four puffs, indicating his urgent mood. He stood up suddenly, picked up the burning red soldering iron, and pressed hard on the former spy's body. The pungent smell filled the room, and the former spy screamed heartily. Section Chief, I'm afraid this won't work. He won't be able to hold on, suggested his subordinates. If he can't speak up, it will be difficult for us to pass this time. 
The inspection team is wearing Boss Dai's Shangfang sword. Do you also want to try the food from the headquarters prison? Get on the electric chair. Feng Mingwei said coldly. The intelligence department also has a Japanese spy. But the head of the intelligence department, Jiang Haosheng, calmly drank tea and watched as the interrogator pinched the nose of the Japanese spy, pouring chilly water into his mouth. The strong stimulation and breathing were obstructed. When a pot of chilly water was finished, the Japanese spy lowered his head and coughed violently, even spitting out blood. The action department is probably crazy. They've used all 18 martial arts skills against Japanese spies, and it seems that they probably won't last until tomorrow morning, said the subordinate who went out to gather information. Normally, if he can calm down, he will be a ghost. The inspection team will stay in the station and may find an afterthought at any time. If they can't judge the Japanese spy and get a valuable statement, Feng Mingwei will have to go to the prison of the Secret Service office to eat dim sum and drink kanji. Damn it, if this Japanese spy is really killed by his excessive torture, causing the subsequent clues to be interrupted, his behavior will be even worse, and the outcome will be very tragic. Jiang Hao sneered. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 New Discoveries You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 New Discoveries Jiang Haosheng was well aware of Feng Mingwei's situation, and naturally did not feel strange about his crazy behavior. He gambled a bit, and if he won, he would be full of vitality. If he lost, he would blame himself for his misfortune. However, this foolish person doesn't know how to settle accounts. The Japanese spy case at the security command has now been solved, and the situation at the second location is no longer passive. Boss Dai may not be so angry, at most he will be dismissed and investigated, and he won't be easily shot. But if Feng Mingwei really kills the Japanese spy and disrupts the second major event, Boss Dai will surely be angry. It is quite difficult to catch a Japanese spy. Counting the new and old accounts together, does he still have a way to survive? This Japanese spy is the online contact person for the Japanese spy case in the security command, with very high value. Unfortunately, the webmaster actually gave him to the operations department, which is too biased. The case belongs to the intelligence department, and the perpetrator should also give it to us, said the subordinate. This is what the webmaster wants to do with the action department, not looking at the monk's face but at the Buddha's face. There are also people behind Feng Mingwei, and it's understandable that the webmaster is doing this. As the saying goes, good luck brings bad luck. Do you think giving it to us can lead to the trial of people? Not really. Take a look at these Japanese spies. They used tiger stools and chili water, but didn't say a word, and didn't even have the idea of communicating. This indicates that they are determined to protect the secret with the determination to die. It can be seen that the Japanese trained agents have strong willpower and psychological qualities, making it difficult to deal with them. Jiang Haosheng said. We can't watch the excitement of the action department yet. If we can't come up with a result, it will be very embarrassing, said the subordinate. Being reprimanded by the headquarters or webmaster is indeed a shameful thing. To be honest, being able to lose face is already luck. If the action department cannot approve it, it will result in losing one's life. Jiang Hao said calmly. Han's West Lake Courtyard. The Han family is a salt merchant. They not only have residential properties in Jinling and Shanghai, but also in Hangzhou. Their father often comes to do business, and their mother occasionally stays for a period of time. The scenery of West Lake is beautiful, and she likes it here. After arriving at Hangzhou Station, Han Lin stayed at home. West Lake Courtyard is a relatively modern European style building, with a rockery lawn at the entrance. The main building is a white three story small western dot style building, with a bungalow for the lower class living on the left and a garage and storage room on the right. The Han family is not short of money. In their home in Hangzhou, there is a chef, a driver, and a gatekeeper. 
There is also a middle dot aged woman who works as a maid with two young girls, all of which belong to long dot term contracts. Young master, you're back. What a strong taste of alcohol. How much alcohol have you been drinking? The maid Xiao Qing smiled and asked, reaching out to take the suitcase from his hand. I'll pour you a cup of tea to wake you up, said the maid Xiaolian. Both girls are good dot looking and of the jade type from a small family. The Han family is not a harsh family and doesn't have much physical labor. They usually just tidy up their rooms, so they have white, tender, and smooth skin, full of the charm of a water town in Jiangnan. Although they are only in their early twenties, their figures have gradually become mature. Their relationship with Han Lin is very good, after all, they were in the Han family at the age of sixteen. After five years, they have had more contact and naturally have some romantic feelings. At the age of initial love, it is normal to have some thoughts about a handsome and wealthy young master. It is not uncommon to marry an aunt during the Republic of China period. I'll take it myself. It's quite heavy, Xiaoyan. You go tell Master Fan to prepare the food and drinks early tomorrow. I'm going to have a banquet at home for the VIPs at noon, according to the quantity of twenty people. Han Lin said. He returned to the hotel room from the tavern and brought the Japanese spy box home. He had been renting the four rooms of the hotel and had not checked them out. Since he still had to intern at Hangzhou Station, he might need it again at this location near the train station, and he didn't need the money for food and room. Han Lin even plans to rent a vacant place and truly establish his own stronghold. Some things belong to his resources, and he cannot interfere with the Hangzhou Station. It is not because he is afraid of being robbed of credit, but because of the special nature of intelligence work. Some clues involve secrets, and the fewer people know, the better. A small yellow croaker is equivalent to $40 in the ocean. In the box, there are not only 30 small yellow croakers, but also 20 large yellow croakers. Calculated to be worth nearly $10,000, what a big sum of money. At the current stage, the US dollar has not received much attention. It will not be until after the issuance of fiat currency, with wars and currency depreciation, that the status of the US dollar is confirmed. Businessmen who do business in the Asian financial center of Shanghai have saved up some US dollars at home, and the Han family naturally has them too, but their cash at home is mostly gold bars and ocean. After drinking a cup of hot tea, he carried the box to his bedroom on the second floor, threw the gold bar aside, and carefully checked the box. He did not find any layers. He picked up a few pieces of clothes and felt them little by little with his hands, but there was no harvest. He was mentally prepared for this situation, and it's normal for him to not find any clues. He was about to throw the newspaper aside when he suddenly stopped. No, this newspaper is from yesterday's Shanghai Stock Exchange. After reading it, I lost it. Why do I have to put it in the box? It's clearly a problem. He immediately picked up the phone and called the hotel, informing Chao Jiandong that when he came home tomorrow morning, he would first go to the station to find technical personnel and bring a bottle of ferric chloride solution. He suspected that this was an outdated method used by the Japanese to use aminopyrene solution as a secret writing solution, which would take shape when encountering ferric chloride solution. There were many cases during World War I. In the minds of Japanese spies, the secret agencies of the Jinling government may not have thought of such a way. Who would care about a newspaper with a clear background? Even if discovered, there must be corresponding preventive measures. The profession of a spy is always in danger, but the mission of a spy is to complete their tasks. Danger is secondary, and no matter what means are used, as long as they have an effect, it is a good means. Put the things away in the safe, and he put his gun next to the pillow. The weapons equipped by Han Lin and the special operations team were purchased by the Jinling government. The original Browning A1911 pistol from the United States has a magazine capacity of 7 rounds and an effective range of 50 meters. It is equipped with middle and senior military officers and special departments. 
The weapons equipped in the two locations are very complex. Mr. Dai, relying on the trust of President Jiang, searched everywhere for weapons and equipment. In addition to the Browning pistol, there were also the British Webley revolver and the German Mauser pistol, as well as a small number of German MP-18 submachine guns, most of which were imitations. The replica of the Browning pistol is called the 8-year model, while the Mauser pistol has more. The replica of the MP-18 submachine gun, also known as the flower machine gun, cannot keep up with production capacity and cannot be equipped in large quantities. In the military of the Jinling government, in addition to President Zhang's direct German weapons division, they were equipped with imported German standard weapons and have not yet begun to be reorganized. The most common types of rifles in the army are the Chinese official rifle and Czech light machine gun, while some miscellaneous troops still use Hanyang-made weapons. New and old friends, this book has been signed and completed. Please recommend and collect it. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Pull Relationships. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Pull Relationships The next morning, Han Lin drove a black Ford to the restaurant where Jin Xingen stayed. There was more than one car at home, and he had been driving since he was young. However, considering his current status, he usually rides a bicycle when going to work at Hangzhou Station. The funding for the second location is not the scene after the victory of the anti-Japanese war. It is not as wealthy now, and only the station master, the operations department, and the intelligence department are qualified to provide specialized vehicles. The department chief often occupies one vehicle, and the secret agents use one vehicle for secret missions, mostly when riding bicycles. Gathering at your home. Not bad, it can make the atmosphere more relaxed. You're very thoughtful, and I'm also a guest at home. Jean Shingen didn't refuse. The inspector is willing to come with a grand presence. My humble abode is shining brightly, please board the car, Han Lin said respectfully. Han Lin's family situation was clear to him. His father, Han Jing Shan, was a quite powerful businessman who could break into the circle of salt merchants in Jiangsu, Zhejiang, and Anhui through the weak connections of his ancestors. His methods of running the business were admirable. You should know that salt merchants have monopolized the industry since the Qin dynasty. Although it gradually declined, its influence was still significant, and the phenomenon of forming alliances was very serious, making it easy for them to not accept new people. The car entered the gate and drove straight to the porch of the small building on a circular road. Jin Xingen's two guards got off the car, and Han Lin also got off to open the car door for Jin Xingen. The details were very satisfactory to Jin Xingen. The driver of the Han family had been waiting at the door for a long time and hurriedly drove away. Han Lin invited Jin Xingen to the living room, and by then, all fourteen team members had arrived. Hello Inspector. Chao Jiandong led the team members to salute Jin Xingen. This is at Han Lin's house, there's no need to be polite, Jin Xingen said with a smile. The floor is paved with flat marble tiles, and there are thick woolen carpets on it. The sofa and tea table imported from Shanghai are all in one color. There are crystal chandeliers on the top, wall lamps and wall lamps, which show luxury and dignity. The light of the big French window is very good, and even the curtains are imported. Xiao Qing and Xiao Yen were wearing kipeos, bringing hot tea and turning on the electric fan that was on the side. During the Republic of China period, there were not only electric fans, but also refrigerators, and even air conditioners, but the latter were used by very few people. I hardly feel much heat in the living room, and the air flows through the front and rear doors. It's not the hottest time at noon, so blowing a fan is still very comfortable. Jin Xingen drank tea and couldn't help but marvel at the fact that they were from a wealthy merchant family. Look at these two lowly maids, whether in their attire or behavior, they were very appropriate. The material and jewelry of the Chong Sam were not affordable for ordinary families, and they looked very bright, with fair skin and beautiful eyebrows, and a curvy figure. Being a lady-in-law was enough. 
Of course, he wouldn't be so unscrupulous either. Asking a maid to be his aunt from Han Lin is a taboo behavior, unless his head is kicked by a donkey. The Han family also has a background, and they have made many acquaintances at the top of the Jinlin government. They are not afraid of him as a small deputy stock chief. Han Lin was entertaining him at home just to fulfill the credit for solving the case and capturing the Japanese spy, while also building connections at the headquarters, which was not harmful to him. Please instruct the inspector. Han Lin first invited Jin Shingen to his seat, then stood up straight and said. It's not really a lecture, let's take this opportunity to chat with you. With your age and experience, I'll remind you. The members of the field team are all top-notch students carefully selected from the police and military academies by the headquarters. Boss Dai and the headquarters have high expectations for you. Hangzhou Station is just a transitional period during the internship period, and you just need to grasp this. Don't meddle in the internal conflicts of Hangzhou Station. Your attitude is neutral and not inclined towards any party, including the webmaster. You can participate in the investigation of a certain case, but cannot be responsible for a long-term work of Hangzhou Station. You need to understand the meaning of the word assist, which will test your thinking in methods. You have just entered this profession, and your experience is relatively lacking. Young people have a simple and impulsive mindset, which is what I am worried about. Our departments, headquarters, provincial stations, provincial stations themselves, as well as teams and groups in various cities, have complex relationships. Being involved in these disputes will be detrimental to your future. Just like in this case, on the surface, the action department took credit for the intelligence department, but Rome was not built in a day, and the intelligence department is not innocent. The conflict has intensified to this extent. You can also ponder Lu Wenzhou's ideas on your own. As intelligence personnel, you cannot easily draw conclusions. People's hearts are the most difficult to ponder. Jin Shingen said. Listening to your words is better than reading for ten years. This is Han Lin's feeling. Jin Shingen's words this time are a valuable experience, and it is also equivalent to standing from the perspective of the headquarters, giving their field team a clear direction and positioning for their future work at the Hangzhou station. Jin Shingen was an old qualification during the period of number 53 GE Lane, and he had a great understanding of the people and things in the entire secret service. He could not have said it too clearly. It was already difficult for him to evaluate the people and things at Hangzhou Station. Boss Dai has absolute authority in the Secret Service, but although his subordinates dare not openly form cliques, they also have their own small circles. An inconspicuous matter may involve deep insider relationships behind it. By the way, the Secret Service will be relocating from Ji Lane to Hongdong Temple to work this year. Han Lin and his group can be considered to have joined the second office during the period of GE Lane, which is a profound qualification. Young master, the dishes have been prepared. Please come to the restaurant to have your meal. Xiao Yan walked over gracefully and said. Thank you, inspector, for your generous guidance. I will report it later. I humbly prepare some wine and invite inspector to have a meal. Han Lin said with a smile. Then I'll bother you. Jin Shingen nodded and said. It's not easy to hear these words from him, having a meal is definitely not a problem, and he knows that with Han Lin's family, he won't let himself say these words for nothing. There is a long and carefully carved dining table made of precious wood in the restaurant, surrounded by mountains, rivers, geography, and cloud dragon patterns, with a rustic charm. This table is also very valuable. There are not many dishes, each one is carefully cooked, and they are all famous dishes from the Jiangsu and Zhejiang regions. The ingredients are naturally more exquisite. The porcelain tableware in Jingdezhan, plate by plate, shows exquisite craftsmanship, and we drink Shaoxing daughter's red wine. At this time, Huan Jiu is quite popular. As a young master, Han Lin instructed in advance that he would be a distinguished guest. Of course, the chef would serve all the birds' nest and abalone, 
and he would do his best to give Han Lin face. During his meal, Han Lin specifically talked about the history of the two places. This topic became too long to talk about for three days and three nights, so there could never be a moment of silence. Jin Shingen was also willing to talk about the affairs of the Secret Service, and the guests enjoyed a meal. End of this chapter